Welcome back to the Charismatic Voice. We're going to be returning to the pentatonics today. A bunch of you have been requesting this, and your most requested Christmas song has been Mary Did You Know. So we're going to be checking that out. I love the pentatonics for Christmas music. I've listened to them for tons of Christmas music before. I think I've heard this one on the radio as well, but we're going to do a really deep dive into it today. And fun little tidbit that I found while doing a little bit of research. This was filmed in a cave in Griffith Park. So that's like central LA. And it's the same cave that they used for the original Batman movies. How cool is that? Let's get to it. to let it go for a bit before I did too much talking. Um, some of the things that you guys know I like to really look at in acapella music is how this arrangement's been put together. So they did something here that you hear fairly commonly in really good acapella arrangements, and that is they drew you in with some oohs. <laughs> this ooze sound just really helps the audience ears kind of, you know, listen a little more closely so that you have their attention for the rest of the song. So I really love that they uh, they made that intro there. Also, it was just beautiful harmonies and blend. Whew. Then I love this like little ear candy, the doom, 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 doom. It's very soft, but it creates a really nice texture without being overwhelming of that central melody. It's interesting here in this uh, first verse, you don't hear a bass drop happening yet. In fact, we got the two lowest voices in this group. I think you had Scott singing the lead first, and then that handed off to Avi, who sang it second, and then you had a little duet from them. So they've left room for themselves to bring in more of a climactic moment later on, or maybe set a groove at some point with a bass um, by giving it very, very little bass notes at this beginning section. Let's go back and listen to that again so you can catch it all. Let's see, boop. There's your ooze. So a little bass in there, but in this verse, it's gone. really cool things there that I didn't even catch the first time is that they've panned where those voices are coming from on the dum 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 and that makes even more ear candy happen so if you've got some good headphones or just like a nice like a couple different speakers notice where those are coming from let's go back a little bit no, thank your baby boy would one day walk on water Mary, did you know that your baby boy would save our sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby boy has come to make you new? Mm. This child that Ooh. you delivered will soon deliver you. Oh, and there's the spot where the bass drops in, right? 
Um, I really love the way they open their vowels and shift to different sounds to kind of give these swells. So it's not just volume that's creating that swell, it is a shift to a different vowel. Really great example in here. That you delivered will soon deliver right here. You. So that's just an ooh to ah opening. It's almost like a filter opening in music production. All right, sorry, Kirsten. We'll soon deliver you. Mary, did you know that your baby boy will give sight to a blind man? Mary, did you know that your baby boy will calm the storm with his hand? Did you know? So many cool things happening in there. I I just love acapella music and production both. Um, I really love uh, Kirstie. I think Kirstie, right? Kirsten? Kirstie? She, uh, I love her voice taking over in this like higher register. And then it was fascinating to hear Mitch come in on the exact same pitches. I like the way that they've sort of... Um, uh, tag teamed this melody here, similar to what Avi and Scott did in the beginning. So I love um, that parallel uh, introduction of the melody. I think that's, again, a really cool arrangement. Um, it was fascinating. This uh, It sounds almost like a, a rim shot uh, sound that Kevin, he's the beatboxer, he's making. I really love that. It has like a really sharp attack on it. And the decay is, is sort of, uh, it has like a nice lingering to it as well. And accenting that along with the bass line really helps that bass line also pop. So it had a nice feeling of, hello, we have arrived. Here's the bass and the beatbox at the same moment. Really, really, really love it. Let's go back and cash out a little bit more. With his hand, did you know that your baby Ooh. boy? Actually, this moment was one of the other moments that I was listening to. Uh, I've been learning a lot more uh, in some conversations about how uh, how some of these top, top acapella groups are being produced. And I think that what's happened at this point where it sounds really thick um, I think that they might have doubled all of the voices or just done like an extra uh, take of each of the voices to make it sound a little more full like a chorus right here. I'm not 100% sure, but I know that's done a lot. Uh, and you should definitely check out the video that I did with Lane from Voice Play if you want to learn more about production of acapella groups. Has walked where angels when you kiss your Oh, that gave me shivers. Oh, that was really, really lovely. So essentially what they did is um, probably in production, but they might have done this too on their microphones, is they as if they either stepped back from their microphones or maybe placed them further back with some, some post-production and then brought it all forward at the end. So it felt like it was far away and then it felt like it was really personal and close at the end. I loved hearing these little Mary, did you know, Mary, did you know, the fall off of that too. So it sounded like almost like echoes pinging off of this cavern that they're in. And then the way it all came back together at the end was so effective. Wow. Let's go. Oh, hey.
Mary, did you know that your baby boy is Lord of all creation? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would one day rule the nation? Do you know? Ooh, oh, that was a cool sound going into that next track. Uh, I love getting to hear Kevin sing. He's usually doing a lot of mouth percussion. And this was really lovely to just get to focus on him for a moment. Awesome voice too, of course, of course. But it's rare that we really get to enjoy Kevin singing like we do in this moment. There's also a really cool like, whoosh, like almost like a backwards whoosh sound that uh, I'm sure that he did I don't know if he did it probably uh, in two different takes, one that would be his solo take and then one that pushes into the next section. That's right, I just made that a verb. It was very exciting. Let's go back and listen a little bit to Kevin's ending there and that whoosh sound. Is Lord of all creation. Hmm. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would one day rule the nation? Do you know? <laughs> Wonderful. I liked the whoosh song in the first place and then they just kept giving me more whoosh and it was so nice. I'm like whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. I wonder, oh, I wonder if they did it backwards or forwards. Sometimes you can flip audio takes so it makes me wonder if you went whoosh on the way out and then reverse that audio take. But probably he just made it organically. He went whoosh on the way in. Oh, that's so cool. That was really, really fun to get to hear over and over. Oh, I want to hear it again. This is such, I think this is the end here. I'm not sure. I might have just stopped in the wrong place. But whoa, that beautiful, huge sound suddenly stopped into this end with really beautiful coordinated Mary, did you know? I think that's even a different tempo that they went into. I'll check that. It was really nicely timed. Very nicely timed. Uh, this this ending section, I love the fullness of the sound there. While you're still able to hear individual voices, that's a sign of just really great mixing and mastering. Uh, and I also love hearing out over the top of this Mitch's belt. It, Mitch has got a voice that just melts my heart every time. I don't know what it is other than saying he sounds characteristically like himself. I don't hear anything in the way. Nothing's forced. Uh, it feels like it's just really great, unimpinged vocal production. It's really gorgeous. Just love, love, love his belt. Um, let's go back a little bit and catch that again. Oh yeah, belt. This is my favorite version of Mary Did You Know that I've ever heard. Whew, that's just delightful. All of the whooshy sounds were especially wonderful and really awesome that we didn't have any of those sounds early on and they used that sound as part of their mechanism for building. You have to keep in mind that in acapella music, you've only got voices to work with. Voices can make a ton of sounds, 
but it's not going to have the same variety of sounds that you would get from an orchestra or from a full band. So they have to figure out how to arrange their voices so that you create a continual, uh, a continual journey, if you will. That's why the ooze at the beginning, going into that really interesting, almost uh, percussive ear candy, then having that beat drop and getting your whooshes. And then when you had that really big breakout moment and eventually you had it suddenly stop and be able to reel back in, those things are really important for acapella music. And their structure on this is just incredible and awesome and interesting at every single moment. Not to mention that they're all really fantastic singers. I just love what the pentatonics do. Whew, great. Thank you so much for your recommendations, for recommending this song in particular for the pentatonics. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please continue to make those recommendations down below this video and also come and join me on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Fridays at 8 a.m. Uh, no, Arizona time, Arizona time, 8 a.m. And I'm here at those days for live premieres on YouTube. So you can find me in a chat room basically while we watch a video. And you can also find me on Patreon and on my website, thecharismaticvoice.com. I'll see you guys somewhere soon.